So in previous sessions regarding the foundation data we covered till store. In today's session we would be covering about creating a warehouse. So for that we need to go to the task pane, foundation data, towards the left of the RMS environment. Or then we will be selecting organizational hierarchy. Then the series of chain, area, region, district, store, the things we have covered in previous session icons will appear. For today we will select warehouse. Then we have the actions tab with the with whether we can create, edit, and view. In order to create a warehouse, you have to click on create. Warehouse window section will appear. And here by populating the required details, you can create a warehouse by creating a name, giving a secondary name, giving the delivery policy, selecting the GST region based on currency, DUNS location. You can also add virtual warehouses. You can also give your business and postal address. Thereby, you can add virtual warehouses. By clicking on more actions, you can select the delivery schedule. And by entering all the details, just click on save and close. Then your warehouse will be created. So in order to show you example like what we have populated, we'll, I'll go to the actions, edit, so here you can see there is a warehouse created double eight two eight two six warehouse name is TIC group physical secondary name is optional the fields which are marked in asterisk one are the important and are concluded at the header level also right and these are to be selected in order to create a warehouse means these are the mandatory ones after giving the warehouse a name then you have to select the currency depending upon the country you are located in or your warehouse is located in then you have reporting level like whether it can be related to chain area district store and you can also keep it blank in case you don't want to uh, link it then you have to select the GST region of your country. For here, we are since working for New Zealand, the New Zealand has been created. Then a primary virtual warehouse has been created where the stock holding and non-stock holding locations will be taken care. Then you can address, uh, give the email address of the said warehouse. Creating back, break back warehouse means You can select this checkbox to indicate that the whether the warehouse is capable of distributing less than that the supplier case quantity. Means if supplier has asked 10 and you are able to prov provide only 8, then select this icon. By selecting this checkbox, uh, it indicates that the warehouse is capable of distributing less than the supplier case quantity. Okay, then we have redistribution warehouse. We select this checkbox only to indicate that the warehouse distributes to other warehouses, means redistribution takes place. For example, we have three warehouses, A, B, and C. A is having surplus and B and C are having shortage of material. So A can redistribute its material to B and C. So thereby we check this. Uh, you have to select only when you are in need of such. Then you can select the delivery policy from the drop down. It, either it can be next day or next valid delivery day. Right? Then we have inbound handling days. This means we enter here the number of days that the warehouse requires to receive any item and move to the move item to the shelf so that it is ready to be picked means in order to get the data in order to get the item ar arranged so that it can be dispatched to various locations so next day uh, next day indicates the drop down that we uh, selected here it indicates that if the if a location is closed the warehouse will deliver the next day and next valid delivery day option indicates that warehouse will wait until the next scheduled delivery day before delivering the item so by thereby uh, give assessing the meaning of the term you have to select the drop down next day is selected if if a closed location is closed the warehouse will deliver on the next day and for the delivery policy having next valid delivery day means that the warehouse will wait until the next delivery day schedule arise before deliver the item then we have dance number 
means it is the Bradstreet Data Universal Numbering System. This is a nine digit code that identifies our story. This topic is also been covered in the previous session. You can have a look. Then we have the Dunn's location. This is the Dunn's location number and it is a four digit which signifies the location of the Dunn's number of the store. Then we have tax ID. It is not mandatory. Then we have to give the address and we can also assign zones to the location like address can be business one and the postal one business means you have all the communications will be sent to your head office postal ones by giving the any communication through post like almost in 90 percent cases business and postal addresses are same but depending upon the different locations availability of postal addresses these might change so here the required fields are address type, which is selected as business or postal. Here you can add. Then we have to select address line 1, address line 2, and 3. Okay. Then you have to give the city, country, state, and postal code. The jurisdiction in which the uh, your warehouse resides. Then you can also mark it as primary address also. Then you can also give the name, phone number, and email and pager of the manager. Here. You, uh, since it has been selected the city, state, the fields that have been populated are the mandatory ones, the which, which have been left blank are the non-mandatory ones. Okay, so you have to click on save and close and then your data will save regarding the address. Then you, you can create virtual warehouses. Physical warehouse will be the main one. And virtual warehouses will be in order to create track the data for the stock holding locations. Here you can type organizational entity type virtual warehouse number, name, virtual warehouse type, channel, channel description, pricing location, transfer entity, organizational unit, stock holding locations are there or not. By clicking on more actions, you can work on warehouse parameters. Here you can add, edit, and delete. Yes, so since these are the mandatory ones, you can select it. So the virtual warehouse window allows us to divide a physical warehouse into one or more virtual warehouses. These, the need for virtual warehouses is that it is a multi-channel environment in order to track the ownership of inventory by channel. You can associate, we can associate each and every where, virtual warehouse with a channel. The things we have covered in the previous session regarding the foundation data. So virtual warehouses are considered as stock holding locations, whereas the physical warehouse are considered as non-stock holding locations. So this is the add a virtual warehouse window, which appears where you can add, create and edit. Here the columns means you just have to click on add here. Here you have to give the virtual warehouse ID, name, secondary name, organizational type, whether you are exporter, importer, or a regular warehouse. Then you can select your organizational type, whether it is the uh, what kind of legacy system you are following for that. And then you can select the channel in order to link the data. Then you can select the whether the, it is commercial one, in stores, insurance, or any other channel, or you are selling through online. Channel means the point of sale, like how your material, how your items are reaching to the customer, okay, or the supplier. Then we have rounding warehouse. You will have this selected as the virtual uh, physical warehouse only. Then we have the option of replenishment. Then we have investment by a warehouse. Then we have stock holding, finisher, customer order location. These are the checkboxes which you can create in order to save the time and data. You can add as many virtual warehouse you want to add. Just click on save and close and your data will get saved. So here we also came to know about while creating virtual warehouse, warehouse department parameters windows. If you click on more actions, this, draw, this window will appear. This window allows us to specify investment by parameters at the warehouse or the departmental level. We can set up the cost of storage and other parameters for the 
specific warehouse like what kind of cost system we want to follow for a particular store or particular warehouse for a specified location okay within this warehouse we can set up several sets of investment by parameters which are specific for a set of items or frozen goods like the department department name what cost of measure you are following or what unit of measure you are following and what is the storage type what is the maximum weeks of supply what is the target rate of return rate of investment and what would be your cost of money right so these are the investment buy and options just click on save in window then then your data will save just click on save and close then your data will get saved Then we click on more actions in order to get the delivery schedule. We can maintain addresses, we can maintain virtual warehouse while creating the data. Then we talk about location delivery schedules. This window allows us to create, edit and view delivery schedules for an item from a supplier or warehouse to stores or warehouse. Means data can be transferred from a supplier to warehouse or from warehouse to store or store to warehouse. This kind of transfer can take place. So there is a drop down menu. Source would be either supplier site or the warehouse and it can be transferred to either any of the supplier or either any of the location and the destination location can be either a warehouse or a store we can add it create this is these are done on header level table and toolbar you can manage by clicking on actions add it and export the data you can also add a delivery schedule by clicking on foundation data, supplier and partners, which we will be covering in upcoming sessions. So this was for how to create a warehouse in Oracle retail merchandising system. In case you have any doubts, you can ping in the comment section and we will adhere to it. Thank you and have a nice day.